like, share, subscribe, HCB2 World. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So listen, we got episode 77 of Dragon Ball Super and let me tell you, shit was crazy, alright? Now, it was crazy because the episode really, really, really wanted to stress two important dangers. The first danger being our boy Goku and the second danger being Zenosama. And I'm going to go into details of Aju why those two are dangerous. But that was something that this episode really, really wanted to stress. All right. So to start us off, you know, the episode showed the two Zimosamas, one from the present and one from the future, playing the game, right? And basically the game was what looked to be a hologram or what looked to be a hologram of them, you know, pushing planets into each other, causing them to explode. Now, they dropped some numbers and they say that it's, it's 100 wins and 100 losses for each, you know? So that doesn't seem so bad. But really, later on you find out that they're talking about planets that they actually destroyed. I mean, these are lives that they just destroyed, wiped out, for no good reason at all, you know? They're so high up there that they don't see the value of human life. To them, everything is a game and it's no big deal. It's not just human life, but life in the universe in general, you know? How can you possibly just smash a planet and destroy it and think nothing of it? They're so high up there that they don't understand that their actions are actually extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. And it's crazy because Beerus sees it, Wiz sees it, all the Kai see it, but Zenosama, he's so high up there that, you know, he doesn't have to answer to anybody. So to him, he can just do this shit and it's, it's no big deal at all. Now, that being said, that's what makes Goku so dangerous, alright? Beerus said something in the episode that was extremely important. He told Goku that maybe he, he's been too lenient on him and maybe he needs to destroy him because his naivety is going to cause the destruction of the universe. And let me tell you why that's so important, alright? Now, the episode starts us off and like I said earlier, you had the two Zenos playing with each other, destroying universes. Had it not been for Goku bringing the future Zenosama to the present, that would have never happened, all right? So Goku's interference right there, no matter how insignificant it seemed, was a huge, huge impact for those universes that was destroyed in this episode. If Goku didn't bring the other Zenosama back, that probably never would have happened. So Goku's interference right there is already causing destructions for universes that isn't even his own, you know? So Goku is ultimately responsible for the deaths of millions of millions of beings like that is fucking insane dude that is insane now the other crazy part is Beerus warns this dude not to go talk to Zenosama because Goku brings up the fact that he hasn't heard anything about the universal martial arts tournament and Beerus is like yo just let it go I'm telling you like you you think you know you think you know Zenosama and you don't know him this dude is actually dangerous yeah, he's not a bad guy, he's noble and he's innocent, but that's what makes him so dangerous. He does shit and doesn't realize that it has, it has, you know, it has effects on people and on universes and on lives. He doesn't realize what he's doing. He's just doing stuff thinking that he's playing the game and he's not. And now, the reason that Zeno and Goku click so well is because ultimately they're both like little kids, you know. They both, they do stuff and they only see what they want and they only see the fun side of things. They don't see the dangers that come with it. Now, because Goku goes and reminds the Zeno of the uh, of the tournament, now like one of the rules are that the losers will be basically they'll they'll be disintegrated, they'll disappear, they will die, they will be erased. So not only has Goku gone and and reminded this guy of the tournament, but now he's put people's lives in danger. All right, people who probably may not have even wanted anything to do with this. So it's not just a harmless martial arts tournament. It's not just a a harmless fun competition it is a battle to the death all right now obviously we've seen who the who our universe's team is going to be i mean one of them is his own fucking son like what is this man doing goku is supremely and royally fucking up all right and beer says earlier in, in the episode you know that is why goku is such a danger to the universe is goku a good guy absolutely is goku strong as shit hell yeah but Goku's simple mindedness is going to be the downfall of a lot of people, including his own family, his friends, and really innocent people who had nothing to do with this shit. So Goku is very, very dangerous, and I'm hoping that, dude, at this point, I don't know how this tournament is going to turn out. Either way, if if the rules and everything hold true, somebody's going to die, and it's going to be all on Goku's hands. Hell, people have already died, and it's going to be all on Goku, alright? So, it is what it is. 
But guys, I'm not going to get too much into it this week. You know, it's, it's pretty late when I'm doing this, but I want to make sure I got this out to you guys because I try to keep my consistency right. So hopefully you like the you like the review. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button because it's like I always say, who doesn't like getting thumbs up? Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I make sure that I always talk to all the people who comment and all the people who stop by because to me, you guys are my friends. You know, you're going to spend time out of your lives to come visit my channel, come hear what I have to say. Of course, I can pay it back. You know, you guys are friends. So, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and let's get these relationships started. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for your boy. As always, I'm Heroes. Come back to peace.